Okay. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my property in Livingston, Montana. Okay, what do we got today? April 3rd, let me look here. April 3rd of 2020. Now this is my, I do believe this is my fifth video in a series of videos I'm doing to try to cheer people up because of this coronavirus, you know. A driving video, a let's get out of the house type of video. And no, I'm not breaking any laws up here in Montana and I'm not doing anything wrong simply because I'm not taking myself around people. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the uh, social distancing thing. But let's stop burning daylight. I've had kind of a rough start this morning, had a lot of interruptions, but let me just take off from here and I'm gonna take you folks up to a place called High Ground. So let's let's go. Let's stop messing around. I'm I'm having a kind of a bad day. <laughs> you know, I got technical problems and people, you know, relatives call me with, you know, things going on in their life and why not have you, you know. <clears throat> I'm sure you folks know what I'm talking about. All right. I'm going up to a place called High Ground. It is in the middle of Livingston. When I mean the middle, I'm talking about the very north side in the middle. Not middle, middle, but it's high ground. I would say the high ground is about 6,000 feet. At the very, very top up there, it's probably 6,000 feet. And, you know, 6,000 feet above the sea level. My home is 4,625 feet above sea level, where I just came from. Okay, but that's where my little, you know, perky up trip, trip or whatever you want to call this, that's where I'm going. High ground. In other words, right up over there, if you can see up that, see that hill up there? Way, way, way back there in the background. I can't, I can't pinch screen this screen because I don't have enough hands. After all, I am trying to be a safe driver and do this stuff. Okay, but that's where I thought I'd go. Uh, actually, I was up here earlier this morning, but I had a really bad recording, and so I had to do this over again. The weather was actually a little bit better this morning you know, than it is now. It's kind of clouded up, but that's okay. Okay, we're going up this street right here, and we're, we're going up, 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 up in elevation. This is a hill there, I gotta make sure I say that because sometimes it doesn't appear like that, but the back side of Livingston, the north side is very, very hilly. I kid you not, man. And then the, the south side of Livingston is along the Yellowstone River if you wanna know the basic layout. But like I say, this area up here is called High Ground and I must apologize because I know that I've recorded High Ground before. So forgive me if you guys have seen this. You know, there's a lot of really nice houses up here, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And of course it gets awful windy up here, just like it does down in my place. Cause this is several benches up, if you will, from, from where my house is at. Okay, now I'm going down here to a place called Main Street, which is right here. Be hanging a left on Main Street. And actually, once I make this little loop, the, 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 the scenery gets a little bit better. So hang in here with me, folks. I'm having a rough day, you know. <laughs> in other words, I'm kind of lucky I can squeeze this video out the way my day's been going. I don't need to burden you with it all because it doesn't matter. It's my burden. Anyway, so, yeah, we're still going up, up, up in elevation. But... Yeah, anyway, right here, let me pull off right here. Not that this means much, but there's a big old sign right there. I'm pretty sure that thing's made out of metal. High ground, see that? As a matter of fact, I know I've recorded this before, but there's a nice big old, what do we got there, Billy Goat? Yeah, see that? Yeah, this is... High ground, Livingston, Montana. Okay. What does this mean? Absolutely nothing. 
And just like I say, I'm making a series of videos to get people something to look at so you don't have cabin fever, SAD, you know, you, you give you something to look at other than the four walls. And anybody that's been following my channel knows what I'm up to. And so I really don't want to take the time to explain it all. I'm just hoping that everybody's doing well and you're not letting fear eat you and you're doing what the medical experts are telling you to do and all that. And these, these, these little videos, these little touring videos are just for simple entertainment for you folks that are locked in. Uh, so there you are. Now I'm gonna turn around this house right here because you really can't go much further than this. Uh, this place right here, by the way, I don't wanna sit here and, and dox anybody. I, I had a friend of mine that actually built that home right there. Good job, John, but he sold it and built him a new place out on Wine Glass Mountain. But yeah, I knew the guy that actually built that place right there. Okay, let me get turned around right here. You can you can go up a heck of a lot higher than what I am here. Well, not that much higher, but sorry guys, but I'm having to grab slush box sticks. That's the transmission, steering wheels, all kinds of stuff. Okay. Now, this should be a pretty good view from up here coming down that you're looking at there. That V that you're looking at right in the middle of the screen is Paradise Valley. That's the beginning of it or whatever have you. But, yeah, there's quite a few places, houses up here on the high ground. I really couldn't tell you how many, but you know, So, yeah, and like I say, I know doggone well I've recorded this in the past somewhere or the other, but uh, just I didn't want to make a great big long trip today because I've got, a, a, well, I couldn't. I just had too many obligations, too many situations that popped up. So, you know, trying to do recordings that are relatively close to home because the weather's been unstable. Snow and melting, snow and melting. Okay, now we're going down a place called Main Street right here. Matter of fact, let me see if I can do this. You zoom up, that is Main Street right there. You're looking right down Main Street. Okay, sorry about this. Okay, let me get this thing pinched screen down. <laughs> it's kind of hard, man. Kind of hard doing what I do here sometimes. So, you guys are going to have to forgive me, ladies and gentlemen, for, you know, my bobbing around and jerking around, but, you know, I work alone, so let me, let me, I'm going to zoom up just a little bit. Now, you're looking right over the city of Livingston, Montana. It's just that simple. This is a one-way street here, and I couldn't give you a, probably a better look. Let me... Let me show it out this way here. Yeah, this is good old Livingston, Montana, man. I say I couldn't give you a better look. Let me stop right here for a second. Zoom out. Zoom back in again. That's the Absorky Mounds back there in the background. Them, them are some rough, rugged mounds, trust me. Why? I climbed them. That's why, I know. Okay, let me zoom, let me zoom that back down again. <coughs> of course, I've got that doggone mirror is always in my way. Let's see, how many minutes am I into this? Nine minutes. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna, well, let me, me kind of wave this around here. That, what, you, what I did is I panned right across the whole entire community of Livingston, Montana. You just can't get a better view than up here on high ground, okay? Simple as that. Okay, let me pull up here over here. Should probably get out there and sit on that park bench there. I don't think it really matters where I, what I do there, you know what I mean? Okay, let me, let me check something here. 
Okay, I'm just checking my zoom. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I see I just clicked over on 10 minutes here. I'll talk to you there for just a minute or two. Uh, I got to confess something. When it comes to this coronavirus, you know, at first, I wasn't taking this stuff serious at all. I figured, ah, this is just something more for the news media to blow all up, the, the politicians to blow their horn, and, and all this other stuff, you know. But now that I've watched enough reliable news feeds and whatnot, have you, I, I, I'm thinking that, you know, a person that really, my best advice is to do what the medical experts are asking you to do and do that social distancing. And yes, I'm aware of the conspiracy theories, which I don't buy into half of them, or probably none of them. I, I really am not much of a conspiracy theory guy. I go on by what I feel is right, if that makes any sense. So, you know, and, and but I am aware of the fact that there's a lot of people that are freaking out. They're hoarding stuff in the grocery stores you know, toilet paper and all kinds of stuff that I find ridiculous. This just only goes to show you, ladies and gentlemen, what would happen if we had a, a major, even a crisis worse than this corona virus epidemic. You'd have people out in the streets killing each other. Yeah, I'm absolutely sure of that. And I'm sitting here to tell you that united, we can, be, we can beat this thing. I decided to to make this series of videos to do my part to show people that I'm not fearing this epidemic, this pandemic, but at the same time, I'm being cautious. The only people I'm around is my wife and my grandson who lives with me, and I don't go down to the stores. I haven't been down to the stores except for to get some gas. You guys, I brought you, I made a recording here the other day where I did that, and so. I've been definitely staying away from people, you know. But here's one thing about this living in the state of Montana. Montana is very sparsely populated. We got less than a million people that live in the fourth biggest state in the, in the Union era. You know, naturally our figures of, of people that have been infected and people that have died because of the coronavirus are far less than say what's went on in the state of Washington or uh, New York City and like that. So us Montanans can afford to get out onto public lands, BLM lands, just get outside, you know, generally speaking, a lot easier because we got more country to travel in. There's not a, you know, we don't have a bunch of, uh, you know, we're not overpopulated. You know, people aren't camped on top of each other here. So, you know, I just thought I'd tell you that just so, you know, and, and, and am I proud of that fact or something? Yeah, I feel blessed that way, you know, but I still think that everybody needs to don't let, you know, do what you got to do in order to survive, but don't let fear, you know, ruin you, so to speak, you know. Okay, I'm really out of things to say here today. You know, like I say, I've had a how should I say, a challenging day. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to take care of yourselves. Now you know why I say that. Because I guarantee you the government is not really ultimately going to take care of you. I guarantee you that your neighbor down the street ultimately ain't going to take care of you. You have to take care of you. It's just about that simple. Okay. Uh, like I'm famous or infamous for saying, we shall see you on down the trail. Once again, take care, and I must bid you adieu. So adios, my friends. Boop.